Hello and assalamu alaikum. My name is Jibran and I am back again with a new topic for new students in Germany. I know the winter semester will start soon, so some of you might be waiting for your visa or maybe you already got it. Now you are preparing yourself to come to Germany like shopping, meeting friends and some important relatives as well. I would suggest if you are foodie then try all your favorite dishes in your country because you might not find that taste here in Germany. So what I will be sharing in this video, I will guide you through all the steps from booking your flight till your student visa extension in Germany. Before I start, one of the most important things is to bring some euros with you because it can take up to two to three weeks before you can access your block account. But till then you need to pay your university fee you might need to buy some transportation, which I will be mentioning in a moment, and you will definitely need it for your food and stuff. I would suggest bring at least 600 to 700 euros with you. If you want to bring more, it is up to you. I will share some of my personal tips at the end of the video. So please watch this video till the end. Now let's get started. Number one, booking your flight. Well, for some, it's an easy step. For some, it's not. Why is that? Because some of you might be traveling first time to an international destination. You can book any flight, whatever you prefer, Turkish, Emirates, Qatar, Etihad, whatever you like. Usually all of these airlines have layovers. I would suggest your layover should be at least two to three hours long. Why I am recommending this? Because I came to know that some students miss their connection because they don't even know how to navigate at the airport. Yes, guys, believe me, I heard this story as well. So it is always better to have a bit longer layover. So you have enough time to navigate yourself at the airport and enough time to reach your gate for the next flight's connection. Number two, reaching your city. If you are traveling to a same destination as your destination airport, for example, you got admission in Berlin and your travel destination is also Berlin, then you only have to worry about how you will reach your accommodation. I will come to this point later, but first I want to explain how will you reach your city. If your destination is different than the airport where you will be arriving. In Germany, there are three ways to reach your city. One option, you can take a train. In Germany, Deutsche Bahn is operating all over Germany. You can reach from point A to B using the trains or buses network. You can go to bahn.de and look for a connection to your destination and the prices as well. If you want to save some money, then you can book it online. But for this, you need a credit card. Otherwise, you can come here and buy it from the station or from Deutsche Bahn machines. I would suggest please have at least two hours difference between your flight arrival and your train departure. On this website, you can find everything like your platform number, when it will leave, everything. Second option, you can take a bus, which is a bit cheaper option than the train. There are a couple of bus services operating in Germany, but the biggest and the most trusted one is called Flixbus. You can go to their website and book online or at some airports, they have their offices from where you can buy bus tickets or you can at least get information from there. So I would suggest if you haven't booked the train ticket online, then first look for the bus. It might be a cheaper option. Third option. Usually some universities have this buddy program where senior students receive new students. But this is not the case with all the universities. Maybe they can pick you from your city's main station, but not from the airport. It also doesn't make sense if the airport is like two or three hours away from your destination city. For example, University of Freiburg, there is no such thing. You have to reach Freiburg, even your accommodation on your own. Number three, reaching your accommodation. If you have found a room, then you probably know what will be the address or at least where you can get the key for your room. If you haven't found a room, then I have made a video on how to find accommodation in Germany. If you are looking for a room, then I will highly recommend that video. You can find the link in the description. But suppose if your last rate of matriculation is near and you still haven't found a room, then you don't worry that much. You can still come to Germany. Sometimes a student union in Germany is called Studentenwerk. They have emergency housings where you can stay in your initial days. And during that time, you can look for a room. Now, let's suppose 
you already found a room and you don't know how you can reach your accommodation for this step google map is your best friend suppose you will arrive at the main station in german main station is called hauptbahnhof use google and find the connection which you can take to reach your accommodation you can also select the timing if you want because if you are arriving late at night then it could happen there will be no public transport and you have to take a taxi you should do this step before taking off from your country and write everything down on a piece of paper or print out everything whatever you prefer because you might not find wi-fi here one important information for this step i would suggest try to find facebook student groups from that city either international students group or maybe you will find your nationality group for example for pakistanis this pakistani students in berlin or psa berlin or you can request in that group somebody is willing to help you in your new city in return you can offer them food or whatever you prefer some students are very active they voluntarily sign up for such stuff so you might find somebody or if you have a friend in germany you can ask them for that now you have reached germany what will be the next step after reaching germany the first thing you need to do is to register yourself in the city for this you need an accommodation contract and your passport if you don't have any accommodation then sometimes university or student work have some addresses which you can use to register yourself and all the important documents will arrive to that address and once they arrive you can go there and pick them up so where do you register yourself each city has a burgeramt or a rathaus where you can register yourself sometime it is like a walk in registration thing that you can go there take a token number and wait for your turn once your turn arrives then you can register yourself but sometimes they have an appointment system and you have to book it in advance either online or on call usually your university will provide you a document with all the important addresses for your city and there you can find how and where you can register yourself after registering yourself you get a registration letter you need this letter for the next step why this step is important because now when you register for your health insurance bank or in your university they will send you your health card university card and bank card everything on that address which you mentioned after this step you can either go to your bank to unblock your account or you can go for the health insurance i will start with the health insurance in germany there are private health insurance and the public health insurance there are two major differences between these two number 1 private insurance is cheaper than the public insurance number 2 in public insurance if you go to a doctor then you don't have to pay anything up front everything will be deducted from your insurance card but in private you will pay first and then your private insurance company will reimburse you after you send them the receipts so if you want to go for a private insurance then i just know one name the company name is called mavista if you want to go for a public insurance then i just know two names one is tk and other is aok in order to register for the health insurance you need your passport biometric picture city station and your bank iban number because your insurance will be deducted automatically at the end of your each month i think for private insurance you have to register it online but for public insurance you will find their offices somewhere around the university else you can always google it now let's unblock your account Nowadays there are so many different options Coracle Fintiba so follow the unblocking steps what they have mentioned on their website I can tell you about the Deutsche Bank you can go to any physical branch of Deutsche Bank with your passport city station and bank document whatever they have emailed you so far there you have to fill out some forms and after that your bank account will be unblocked in few days you will receive your ATM ATM pin online pin tan list everything via post that is why your address is very important the bank and blocking thing you can also do it after your university's matriculation if you want because you don't need any bank details for your university matriculation now let's go for matriculation you have everything to matriculate yourself in the university first thing you have to do is to pay the university registration or semester fee where you have to pay this fee university will give you the address once your fees is paid then you will take all your educational documents passport biometric picture registration health insurance certificate your admission letter or anything if the university is mention you to bring it with you once you are there you will probably fill out some form and once everything is done you will be matriculated university will send you your university card either via post or you can pick it up from the university it all depends how that university 
functions. A small information on this step sometimes your university card is your semester ticket but sometimes you have to buy separately from your city's transportation authority like for us in university of freiburg it was not included in our university station fee we have to buy it separately so you can go to deutsche bahn or whatever authority is there last step as a student you get only three or six months visa from german consulate or embassy in your country and after your city station and matriculation you can extend this visa for this, you have to go to the Ausländer Behörde, which is like a foreign office. Mostly you need an appointment for it. It all depends how Ausländer Behörde functions in your city. Maybe you get an appointment online. Maybe you have to go there to get an appointment. So see whatever options are available for you. This was the last step. Now here are some tips from my side. Number one, bring some coins with you as well, because at the airport you need it if you want to use this trolley thing. Second, you should have a copy of your admission letter in your wallet sometime at the immigration, they can ask for it. Number three, do not come on weekend because it could happen that you cannot get your room key or you have to pay extra to get a key on weekend. Number four, on Sundays, everything is closed in Germany. So you might not find a place to eat or buy a grocery. I would suggest bring noodles or ready to eat stuff with you. So even if you couldn't able to find anything to eat, you still have something to survive. Number six, take good care of your education documents. There was once a student who lost his all the education documents on the airport. Number seven, ask your program coordinator if you can get an email list of all the students who are coming to Germany in that program of yours. In this way, you will have somebody with whom you can do all the registration stuff. Number eight, some universities have these orientation week. Try to attend those because here you will learn a lot about the university and you can meet all the new students. Now, if you know somebody who is coming to Germany, then you can share the link of this video with them. From my side, good luck to your new life in Germany. If I miss anything or if you have any question, then feel free to write in the comment section below. I will soon make a video about what to bring to Germany. If you don't want to miss any new videos, then press that subscribe button down there. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.